I had absolutely no idea the day would turn out like this. This might be the greatest garage sale day of all time. I've been doing this for 21 years. The finds from beginning to end are truly insane. Sold for $300. He had a couple of games in the box. There's, There's more, more in here. There. Unbelievable. I was gonna ask if you have a blow it out price. Let's do 100 bucks. They invited me down to their basement to buy even more stuff. So we've got a citywide garage sale. Over 100 sales in town today. There's three literally right here. So we're gonna get started. I'm very excited. Let's go. I absolutely love garage sales. I've been going literally since I was eight years old, over 20 years. This first neighborhood, it doesn't really seem like there's anybody going to these sales, which is quite shocking considering how many sales that are actually supposed to be advertised in this neighborhood. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Did you just send me spam? Score the day for three bucks. Bose. What is this? Center channel speaker. Three bucks, I think it's probably worth at least 30. So, had to pick it up. And I'm currently in the middle of the Pokemon Pursuit, a challenge where I go out, hunt for items to flip for profits to fund my Pokebank. Then I use those profits to build my dream Pokemon collection featuring cards, games, figures, and so much more. In this episode, I'm going for 500 bucks in profit to get the very uncommon EV Nintendo Switch. Now I've got the Pikachu one right here. That's a little bit more common, but in this episode, I'll probably be able to get quite a bit more and you're gonna see why. This neighborhood had some nice people, but I'm really struggling to find games, so I feel like I need to start looking for some other things, and uh, maybe we'll have some success doing that. Perfect. Thank we'll you. you. Picked this up for two dollar, no holla. Turns out it's worth about twenty bucks, so we'll call it fifteen bucks in profits after fees. So it's Matt's birthday today, so he's sailing with us. And uh, you can tell he's a Sony boy, yep. you know, N64 shirt, Game Boy, Fanny, and Nintendo socks. Yeah. You really are a Sony boy. Apparently you're just an all-around gamer, because he is. We're looking for Sony stuff for Matt today, PlayStation stuff, cool PlayStation stuff, right? Yep. Birthday, so. Now again, I'm going for the EV Nintendo Switch, but of course, if we find any cool Pokemon items along the way, we got to pull the trigger on those too. It's so dopey. <laughs> <laughs> Kyler and Matt joked about how this was overpriced. I got it for two dollars and it actually goes for about 14 plus shipping. What? I don't want it, so I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> We're getting unorthodox things, but I also got this at that sale and got it for a buck. Goes for about $24 right there all day long, so we'll, we'll call it 20 bucks in profit. That was easy. And then we got that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. We nicely timed. I like it. On to the next. If you are interested, I also have a big Snorlax like, bodysuit. Do you really? <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Literally searching for the EV switch. We found the EV hat. Is this a sign? <laughs> well, it would be so crazy if we found it organically at a garage sale. I'm hoping one of these one of these days it happens. Like the thing we're searching for, we just find out in the wild. That would be epic. So I thought this Eevee hat would maybe be our good luck charm, but honestly the rest of the neighborhood was not at all what I anticipated. Sale after sale, looking and asking for games and more. Any Pokemon cards or sports cards? Nobody. We come up empty handed, that is right up until literally the very last sale in the neighborhood. No, like we moved and we have stuff that we're trying to uncover. Now this couple had just moved in and we're clearing boxes and, and going through a bunch of old stuff, which Honestly, it's pretty promising because there could be some treasures hidden in some of these boxes. And asking for games, he brought out not one, but two consoles. Thanks for looking for everything. I know, what, what would you do on, on the pair without the games, I guess? This garage sale, you know. <laughs> Maybe a 60? I do 60. All right, so I'm in the, I'm in the trunk. Uh, looking through this stuff. Chase, this hard drive is uh -huh. 500 gigs. Oh, it's 500? Yeah. Wonderful. I just assumed 250. I'd say probably worth 140 for the PS1 bundle and that. So 80 bucks in profit. 
We'll take okay. it. We changed areas entirely after wrapping up that neighborhood when we pulled up to this very unassuming sale. So much so that Matt and Sky Guy left me, went back to the van when I found the best score so far. This is what separates the men from the boys. Those who buy brats and those who don't. <laughs> Kind of a hunch. Huge. Brand new 125. But I don't know if this is brand new or not. Eh, yeah, it probably is actually. 60 new, 125 new. So, and then this one. Oh my gosh. $300. Oh. That says open box. Sold for $300. I feel bad for walking to the car now. <laughs> yeah, you should. 495. Board. Holy Five cow. More Five more dollars. Five more dollars. Let's go. It's before nine o'clock. Brad's dolls are going to give me a switch. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, yeah. At the next set of sales, Matt and Skaga left me to go and flirt with some old ladies or something. No. Wii or Nintendo DS, anything like that. No. So we have all old lady stuff. Yeah. And then I went to a different sale, asked for games, and he brought on an Xbox with a TV even to show me that it was working. I trust you if, it, if you say it works. Would you take 40 bucks for it? Yeah. Okay. It good. I actually picked up some of this hammocking gear because it appears to be really good brands that are kind of expensive and should be pretty easy to flip. Sweet. Thank you for turning that on. That really helps. Um, it's the day of unorthodox buys, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Matt's keeping the hammock, and I looked that one up. It goes for like 50 bucks used. Emo? Emo? Emu? Emu. Emu hammock? <laughs> That's a dark hammock. That's okay. right here. We got all the camping stuff for 25 bucks. This one was going for like 30. And then the other stuff seemed like it was probably okay. I'm gonna see if my mom and stepdad want any of it. But then that I got for 40 bucks and he turned it on for us. Profit wise, we'll say probably 150 bucks conservatively. Cause I think that stuff's gonna go really well. And we're getting like, this is Matt, one of Matt's birthday presents today. Yeah. So, <laughs> and they're actually looking for more games. Yeah. We went back up to that sale. And yes, he found more stuff. PS4 Slim with controller. He just wasn't sure if it works. 20 bucks. And then $10 for the three Xbox One games. $10 for the Peloton shoes. I just bought those on a hunch. They just keep bringing stuff out. This is a sale that we are going to hit again after we drop this stuff off to the van. $40 there, I'm gonna say conservatively 100 bucks in profit. 7.45, so we are well <laughs> over the EV switch. Let us know in the comments what you want us yeah. to go for or what we need to do so, so when we go over our what we need. I agree with that take. I, I, my thought is we need to start banking some money because I have my eyes on some really big things. So if we can add some significant funds to the bank. For example, I realized I don't have a complete Pokemon Yellow and a complete Pokemon Blue, which is so dumb because I sold Pokemon Blues recently that were complete. I just thought I had it complete. I don't. So those two in particular, I know that I want. So I might put those on my sites for today pokemon blue and pokemon yellow was probably about 300 bucks a piece in the condition i want them so 1100 profit is kind of the the goal at this point it's been an insane start so let's see if they brought out more so he's bringing out switch game for five bucks cool i'll grab that you guys should go to that sale yeah. i i agree maybe they'll have some stuff for your birthday So Chase did not get the Switch game for $5. But I did get a TV for $5. <laughs> just bought the man's TV. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say no. So we go to several more sales and again, I'm noticing that there's virtually no competition of collectors or resellers, which is not the norm for this area. So normally when you ask for games and collectibles and it's past prime time, you usually hear, oh, you're like the fourth person to ask today. But I have yet to hear that. In fact, I asked for games at this sale and hit yet another jackpot. You guys got any old video game stuff? Like Nintendo, PlayStation, Game Boy? At a garage sale on an ask, this day has been incredible. And they just brought out Xbox 360 with games, and then also a SNES Classic, and that is so cool Those to are see. Fun. And he's back in grabbing at least two more controllers, and I said maybe if you find more, we're interested in everything. Right now we're at 60 bucks for everything on the table here, and plus the two controllers he's bringing out, he's been gone for a minute or two, so he might be looking for more, so.
I'll come up to 70 with, with these extra games too on this. Yeah. Fifty in value, so about one seventy in profit. As long as it works. So I'm gonna dock that down because he didn't know if it works. We'll call it one twenty in profit. Okay. Staying so conservative here. So eight sixty-five. I, I don't know anymore, but I don't know either. <laughs> Surprise me. I was walking away without buying it, but yeah, it goes for like 50 bucks. It was a dollar. 50 Why bucks not? on bit. At this point, we're all feeling pretty good about how much we've been able to add to the Poke Bank. And I think part of the reason for the success is being willing to be diverse in what we buy other than video games. And this next sale is a great example. Do you have any video games of any kind? This no. Old Nintendo or There's Sega? Yeah. Here, but Ooh. You guys got any uh, issues? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, a medical book might help. <laughs> what, are those are old place for you? Yeah, there's another pair. <clears throat> Wait, let's let's go out there wearing them. Alright. To surprise them. <laughs> Dude, these are kinda sick. Alright, we found <laughs> we found something. <laughs> What? What? I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> right here. <laughs> All right, two, so seven a piece on those. Will we take five on this on the speakers? Throw in the 50 cent shades. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I have exactly $21 in my pocket. Oh my gosh. We, thank you, Matt. We already knew. Yeah, we already here. knew we were getting a 21. <laughs> thank you, guys. Awesome. Have a good one. So the Oakleys, which Matt is rocking the way that you rock them. They are, they are truly vintage, and I think they're going to be worth about 70 bucks a piece. That, sh that shocked me. <laughs> so little, they could be more though. Like, there's some that go for over 200, 300, like right here. Just the frames on these ones went for 180. So like all day long, they're 70 or more. So comfortably. Comfortably. So we'll call it 100 bucks in after fees profit there. We paid seven bucks a piece. And then this paid seven bucks. They're worth about 30. Little Bose companion speakers. We'll probably keep those for Brother Dave. Yes, yeah, so we'll keep them. Don't. Yeah, don't count, don't count that 30. Okay. So 100 bucks. So we're up to 945. Nine, Nine, I don't know. We're at the like numbers a million here. dollars. Yeah, million We're doing dollars. So good. This is a fantastic day. And what time is it? 10:09. <sighs> I, <can't, laughs> I love it. Unbelievable. So Sky Guy and Matt split up for a bit and really got nothing except for maybe a potential lead. But the sale after required everybody in order to make an epic deal. Long story short, this guy said he had an entire box full of Nintendo NES stuff in his basement. But then his wife said they didn't. But he was sure that they did. But it turns out they belonged to their son who apparently moved out years ago. After more and more talking, the wife ended up calling her son from across the country to see if he'd be willing to sell the games. Okay, then, then I'll have Joe go do around in the basement. Well, see? never mind. Doesn't hurt to ask. That's right. Doesn't hurt okay. to ask. Well, now. thank you very much for checking. Oh, you're so hopefully when we stop back by later, they'll be ready for us to buy. He, he I knows. hope they find them. He knows. Oh my gosh. Um, but we have permission to get them. The sun said sell them. <laughs> okay. I got a Nikon D50 for 20 bucks just on a hunch. I guess it looks like it goes for like 50 bucks okay. if it works. I don't even know if these are authentic or not, but they're 15 bucks. They're my size. So I wanted I wanted to pay full asking price on a couple things just in case the ask panned out so that they'll be more likely to bring it out and know they're going to get yeah. their money for it. Um, I really hope it does. It's a very promising lead. <laughs> Stopped at a couple more sales, nothing really worth buying, but my heart was still racing for the potential of this box full of NES stuff. So after killing some time, we were back. But I wasn't prepared for this. For Sorry sure. about that, I Thank you. Get it off, but we no. had a bunch oh. of people at the table. Like, no worries, we were right there, so we just figured okay. we'd stop Thank by. Thank you very much. Oh, have, have a good care. one. Thank you guys. They couldn't find the box full of NES stuff. They were gonna wait for their son to be home in a few weeks, which Honestly, probably means we're never gonna get any of it. But we're not gonna let that slow us down. In fact, one of my biggest finds ever was right around the corner. You 
got us pegged. Yep. yep. <laughs> I only have a couple there over there by the radio. Oh, I have an old PlayStation or something or other. You want to bring it out? Make, I'll make you an offer. No, I think you got the PlayStation from me last year. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I found this thing down there. Oh, yeah. oh multi tap Yeah. I, think I do have an old Nintendo 64, but I'm holding on to that for a while. <laughs> got games with it? Uh, just a couple. I might, Zelda might, might give you like a hundred bucks for it. Want to bring it up? For context, I bought games from this guy before, N64 games, so when he said he had an N64 and some games, I really wasn't surprised. But what did surprise me was the condition of everything. Unfortunately, the camera was being a bit goofy right as he was bringing stuff out, but he brought out this glorious N64 box. And when I opened it up, there were box games inside of that box. Oh. There should be one controller in there. Yeah. Yep. Except for one controller, roll the pack. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Enjoy. Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a good one, sir. Have a good one. You too. Unbelievable. He's. <laughs> Uh, he remembered me from a couple of years ago. Sky Guy, I, I'm gonna just have to ask you if you can put the thumbnail up because I remember this sale. I remember exactly how it happened. Okay. And there's a picture that we took of the games I got from this man like three years ago. He remembered me. We made a good impression then. And boy, we pushed to get these out. Respectfully, of course. He said he had a Nintendo 64 still after some uh, saying, you still got anything left? Can't even believe it. I told him, I'd, you know, you got an N64 with some games, I'll give you a hundred bucks. And that got his attention. He had a couple of games in the box. My goodness, there's more, there's in, more here. in there. We haven't even. Oh my goodness, this thing is so nice. The console's like unbelievable. And this is an absolutely fantastic score, but for a hundred bucks, it's too good of a score to not include in the garage sale collection. So we're gonna add it to the top shelf because that is where this one belongs. These are like honestly stunning. The condition is unbelievable. They've been untouched for 20 years, like, oh my gosh. I, I am beyond excited. Even the cartridges here are so clean. Everything about it, this is beautiful. In fact, this, this Star Wars Episode One racer box is, is pretty sweet, and I'm wondering, should I display it there or next to my limited edition console, like right on top of it or something? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm feeling great with the scores we've had so far today, especially considering I'm definitely gonna be adding some stuff to the Pokemon Pursuit collection today. All right, unorthodox <coughs> score yet again. 30 bucks all in, you got like Pelican case. This one is really nice, custom work SIG. Um, we only paid, yeah, 30 bucks and this one alone is worth 75, probably the best one. Others will be worth 20 a piece. Uh, value's gonna be about 200 bucks for a profit of $170. And this is right after the N64 sale. Another few sales down, it's afternoon, and at this point, I think I realize why we're having so much success. It's peak garage sale season in Michigan, and literally the same day, there's 12 other massive neighborhood garage sales going on, and I think everybody else went there. Like, this one that we went to is, is pretty remote, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and it kind of makes sense that nobody else came here, and it's working out really well for us today. This day has officially achieved legend status. This doesn't make sense. 1256, these are just sitting on a table. 25 bucks. 25 bucks. So at the next stop, we kicked Sky Guy out of the van and to our surprise, he came back with games. If it had the case, I could do better on, on, yeah, on this you know. game. Um, 80 bucks for it all. Okay. okay. Have a good one. He's got it. Maybe I should kick Sky Guy out of the van more often. Alright, here we are. So, these, not really much of anything, I don't think. Gallop and ride! Well, hold on, look at the next one. <gasps> oh, let's go! Oh. Big one. Uh, no, but what's really exciting is in the bag. Uh, I just gave her 80 bucks for it all. Didn't nice. factor in anything. The double dash is only the disc. Hmm. Which is unfortunate, but she said that's the only okay. game they ever had. Right on, but three first party controllers. Yes. Including Spice, Spice Orange. Spice Orange, baby. A Card generous now. offer, but still a great deal. That's gotta be worth about 180? Dollar 80? For all of that? Yeah, dollar. 180. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm deficient in the brain. Yes. <laughs> That was easy. Thank yeah. you, Matt. At this point in the day, we've had a ton of success. We've got N64 boxed, we've got GameCube games, other games, collectibles, 
But all of that is going to pale in comparison to what's about to happen next. Normally at this point during the day, about 1, 2 o'clock, we'd wrap up, pack our things, and head home because typically neighborhoods are picked clean at this point. But since there was virtually no competition, we took a risk and stopped back at the sale we passed earlier in the day because it really didn't look that special from the road. But normally don't do that, just stop at every sale because you really can't tell from the road and this is a prime example of that. Now we didn't even record walking up to the sale because we figured there wouldn't be anything. But after seeing what there was, I had to do this. I was gonna ask if you have a a blow it out price for all of these glorious board games. I guess the second question is, are they like complete? They should be. Okay, as far as you know. I haven't even looked into it real close, but I mean, this is all up my alley. Would you do a hundred bucks? Nah. Uh, hundred bucks sounds like a winner to me. You good with that? I'm fine with it. Sweet. And we'll, we'll take it. So why on earth did I make an offer on this whole table? Well, Pretty obvious that there's some cool stuff here. Nerd stuff, you know, board games like Warhammer, D&D, &D, all that kind of stuff. I bought, I bought some of this stuff in the past and sold it and done pretty well. And the way they had it priced, you know, a lot of the big board games were priced at like five bucks, 10 bucks at the most. It just seemed like it was probably gonna be a good buy and I figured I should just buy it now and figure it out later. So I go over to the other side of the garage, to the other table where there's some massive Lord of the Rings figures among other things, and I figured if they were making a deal on one table, maybe they'll make a deal on the other table. Well these are want 20 a piece for. Okay. They're going for more than that on eBay. Okay. Oh, okay, so those, nice. The metal wall and the spawn figures, so a couple bucks a piece. Okay, you said 20 a piece on these. Yep. These got 10 on them, right? Some ten a piece on those. And just do a hundred bucks. Yeah. That good. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. We drove by the this thing first thing in the morning, and I, I just know. went everywhere. I wish we would have went sooner, but so I bought another table, hundred dollars yet again. Now the sellers actually both acknowledged that they just wanted to clear all this stuff out. They needed the space. They knew it went for more on eBay, but the space and getting rid of it was much more valuable to them. And not long after that, they invited me down to their basement to buy even more stuff off the wall. Now, I think that literally makes five for five in garage sale videos this year of making it into somebody's basement and buying some stuff, which is absolutely crazy. Oh, very nice. Because I got the stuff I want to keep up. So okay. Mm-hmm. This can go. Okay. So everything's kind of... What are these dragons from? Those are McFarlane. Okay. Dragons. Just stuff of dragons they were selling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are the Funkos yours too? Yep. Okay. So everything here. The only thing I can't sell is that dragon. I was about to say, what's that from? Is that the same yep. McFarlane? Okay. That's cool. My son bought that for me, so... Nice. Okay. Cool. Are you guys moving? Or no, just clearing house? Yeah, we're just thinning. Sure. In case we have to move. Well, besides the dragon, how much would you want for, for everything? Oh, I could part with it all for 60 bucks. I can do that. Yeah. Those up there, my son's upstairs, but I'm sure. Work it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh, what are you guys, resellers? or? I'll, I'll do about We collect, got on my shop, do all the things. So we're always looking for most, usually video games, which I don't I, know if I got video I got games a from here. Uh, and then old ball cards. I don't know if there's baseball cards in there or what, but. I'll tell you what. Here. The old 90s. You can have it. Yeah. All right. Here's some more. <laughs> <laughs> the price is right, huh? <laughs> all right, we'll start bringing them up. $260 spent so far and I don't even really know what I just bought. I honestly don't think I'll be able to show the full extent of it in this video. I just know that I'm super excited about it. And, and Sky Guy, did you know that while you and Matt were packing the stuff up in the basement, I actually bought like two Xboxes, a PS2, and about 30 games for 50 bucks? We didn't get any film of that. I didn't that, know you got that. It was an Xbox One in the box, 360, about 20 games for that, PS2, 10 games. Did you put it in the van? Oh. It was buried under all this other oh stuff. Gosh. It was crazy. So after talking, after buying two tables, the stuff in the basement, this old beer crate, 
I buy another table. I must have been never. I should. <laughs> Gotten this much, why not? <laughs> Would you include the Star Wars figures with that? Uh, let's... I mean, do you care? Yeah. Table for 50 bucks? Yeah. Sounds like a winner. <laughs> All right. All right, then we'll do it. This family was a lot of fun to talk to. I really enjoyed them, and, and they shared stories on a lot of this stuff, how they got it, how they enjoyed it. And they were really happy and thankful that, that we would be able to find homes that will cherish each and every one of these pieces. So $365 spent for what I hope might even be thousands in profit. All right, well, All thank right. you very much. Thank you. Good nice weather. Have yes, a good you one. too. Just let me know when you dig out some more. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. All right, thank you. Oh my goodness. Chase, this, this, after that sale, this might be the greatest garage sale day of all time. I've been doing this for 21 years. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to quantify what just happened, but it was unbelievable. We are talking. That was easy. <laughs> can, can we just, how? It is, it is one, one o'clock when we got there. All the big stuff we got was from an ask. Yeah. The power of the ask is very real. Make a connection, be nice, pay up for what you can. And they might bring out more, or in this case, bring you into a basement. Unbelievable. Sell you everything else for $60. We went into a basement today. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so during the next couple of sales, we started to crunch some numbers and decided it would be very safe to say that we have enough, not only for the EV switch, but also for Pokemon Yellow and Blue complete in their boxes. And I'll add those to the collection in just a bit. But first, I need to show the Caterpie crew back at the game barn everything that we got and decide how much we should actually add in profit to the Pokebank. I feel like I know what's coming. What? I feel like you lied to me and you actually got some amazing scores. <laughs> Am I why, right? why would you say oh. that? Um, this was oh my maybe the best garage sale day we've ever had. <laughs> what? what the heck? This is yeah, come, come over to this Matt, side. Matt, goodness oh, gracious. <laughs> yeah, Matt's our good luck charm. Oh, Happy birthday, Matt. I'm gonna guess this is worth $3. $75. Uh, quadruple it. Are you kidding? <laughs> $300 pre-owned. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if that's pretty, I think that's actually new, I so. Think, oh, this wasn't like a trade or something? No, this, is this is incredible. After bringing everything into the barn, we realized there's a lot of profits to be had, but we also realized it's gonna take a lot of time to process through everything. So the number we came up with is adding $500 for the Pokebank to spend in the next episode, and we want you guys to decide. We have a poll pinned below with four things that I really want for the Pokemon collection, and you guys can vote right now. Whatever you say is what will be added to the collection in the very next episode. I gotta rearrange a bit here real quick. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that, but we've gotta add this glorious piece to the collection. Went on eBay, found a good deal, and here we have it. The Let's Go Eevee. Switch, I've wanted it for years. It's fully complete in the box, it even has the physical version of the game. Boy, does it look nice. That's not all. Two more games that I needed to complete the Game Boy run of complete in box Pokemon games. So, first, a beautiful complete in box Pokemon Yellow. Now, I do have my childhood copy graded up there, but I needed the regular complete version, and that's gonna look real nice right in there. And next, Pokemon Blue, and that will complete the Game Boy collection. Now, this is the one that I had, and my cartridge is actually in phenomenal condition, better than the one inside of this box, so I'm gonna replace that, and then I'll have a complete in box Pokemon Blue adding to the Game Boy shelf in sweet mercy. Does that look beautiful? Also guys, I find a lot of amazing complete box duplicates from collections I buy, and we're gonna be selling all of these here on Whatnot, literally tonight if you're watching this on Friday, at 5 p.m. Eastern. Information below on that auction, come hang with us. This day was absolutely incredible, and we took a deep dive into everything, processing and seeing what it was actually worth from all these sales on our second channel, The Caterpie Crew. That'll be coming out soon, so check that one out here. But check out the other episodes of Pokemon Pursuit right here if you haven't seen those. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.